next we will go to the lesson chemical bonds. Okay, first before explaining about the bond formation, I will just give you an, just a small uh, hint. Okay, what you, what you should do if you want to make a garland. If you want to make a garland, what do you do? You can make a garland. So, if you want to make a garland, you will take a thread, nool and make a garland. If you want to make a garland, you will make a garland. So, what do you do? The thread is binding the flowers. So, all the flowers are one side and nool and nool and nool and nool and nool and nool. So, same thing in chemical compounds also. Here two atoms join together to form a stable molecule. So that formation, so what is there is a bond form between the two atoms. That is called as chemical bond. So what is a chemical bond definition? When two or more atoms join together to form a molecule of stable configuration. It is a stable molecule. That is called chemical bonds. Now G. N. E. Lewis, he was a scientist who was thinking why this all why all these atoms all these compounds should form bonds. So it's based, he did a research on electronic configuration. Now what is this electronic configuration? You know electrons are present in the atom. So the number of electrons, how they are arranged in an atom. Now you are entering the class. Suppose in a class there are around 30 students. So how the teacher arrange you in a class? You can't go and sit in everyone in one bench or sit in one corner. So the teacher will arrange you in certain order. Same thing, the electrons are arranged in certain order in an atom. So that is called as electronic configuration. So he was doing a research work on electron configuration and then he came to conclusion that all atoms tend to attain a stable electronic configuration. He found that all the noble gases, they are all stable. They have a stable electronic configuration. So he came to conclusion that all the atoms, they under, 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 undergo all this transfer of electrons. So to entertain, uh, entertain that, Stable electronic configuration. He found that the inert gas has 8 electrons in the outermost orbital. It is having 8 electrons. Inert gases are very, very stable. So he found that all these tend to attain that configuration. He gave it as an octet rule. Octa means 8 electrons in the outermost orbital. That is called as valence electrons. The electrons present in the outermost orbit is called as valence electrons. So he came to the conclusion that all the atoms, either they give the electron or take the electron or share the electron and then get that octet arrangement in the outermost orbital, not innermost, it's outermost orbital. So based on that, he came to the conclusion that there are three types of bonds. So formation of three types of bonds. One is, first one is, Ionic or electrovalent bond. So it is called ionic or electrovalent bond. Second is covalent bond. Third is coordinate bond. Coordinate or dative bonding. So these are three types of bond formed between atoms to form a molecule. That is to attain stable electronic configuration of 8 electron octet rule. It is called as octet rule. All elements tend to attain the uh, configuration by either sharing or transferring electrons. So that is octet rule. So now we will go in detail about each and every bond formation. So first we will come to ionic bond. Now before going to the ionic bonding, I will just show what is the outermost electrons. Okay, now sodium you know, sodium is having 11 electrons. I already told you that the arrangement of electrons will be what in the form of 2, 8 and 1. This 1 is called as valence electron. This is called as the outermost orbital. Now, this is a nucleus. It contains neutrons and protons. This is a first shell. So, first shell how many electrons it contains? 2 electrons. Then second shell, you have 8 electrons. And the third shell, 1 electron. So, this is called valence shell. And the electron is called as valence electron. Only these electrons take part in bond formation. Only these valence electrons take part in bond formation. This is a simple structure of sodium atom. Showing the shells and then showing the valence electrons and what is a valence shell. So, next we will go for ionic bonding. Now, what is this ionic bonding? How is it formed? So, take now two atoms A and B. Now, A is having 1 electron extra and B is having, I told you already what is the rule? Octet rule, attainment of 8 electrons in the outermost orbital. So, B is having 7 electrons in its outermost orbital. 
is having one electron is autonomous orbitals. So both have to attain electronic conduct. That is what octet arrangement. That is octet or in certain elements like hydrogen, helium, they attain only duplet arrangement. In hydrogen, helium, you have only one electron, two electrons. So they attain duplet arrangement. Two electrons totally. And you know in a bond formation, one bond contains two electrons. A bond contains two electrons. So now what is now for ionic bonding? So this comes under ionic bonding. So A is having one electron excess and B is having one electron less. It needs what? Eight electrons. Eight electrons they have that. So A can extra one electron. One extra. So then what will happen? A will give one electron to B. 